Hi darlings, it's Robin here. So welcome to your daily spirit message. It's gonna take me a while to get used to saying that, okay? Because I always was going with daily tarot card reading for Tuesday, June 6th. But as you guys know that I am a channel, so as like basically as soon as I even think about doing a tarot card reading, um, my guides start talking. So I am channeling message from angels, ancestors, whatever guides, councils are available. Like, and they're all benevolent. They all want us to do very, very well. I don't channel what people would be considered to be um, like evil or demons. Like I don't have capacity in my heart for that. And it quite frankly terrifies me. So let's start pulling some cards here for you. Okay, so you've earned a really good rest here with the Four of Swords. Hold on, I need to pull another card immediately. And for some reason, you guys can't see this, but I split the deck in two. And there's one on either side of me, one on the right and one on the left. And I never, ever do that. Okay, so there's got to be a reason for that. So I'm going to pull a card, this one here from the bottom of the first cut. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here and just grab this. And I'm going to pull this from the second cut because there's some information that we need to know here. Let's see what cards we have. Okay, so we have the Prince of Cups, okay? And then we have Justice, okay? So this is what I'm getting here, that a lot of you could be really chasing things. Have you ever heard that phrase, don't chase, attract? Okay, so here it is, like, like you've done all the work. You've, you've done all the thinking. You've done all the journaling. You've done everything that you could possibly think of in order to attract things okay and and it's almost like the constant pursuit of wealth or fame or whatever it is that you're chasing and you can let me know in the comments if it's success in your home life or success in your career I mean don't exhaust yourself anymore okay uh, you know the universe is working on your behalf and I'm just going to write that down hold on Okay, so when you utter a phrase to the universe, it has one response and it's always yes. Okay, so we do have an offer coming in here. We have the Prince of Cups and if you look really closely, I personally have a hard time with some of these cards because I'm a little bit colorblind, but you can see that he's reaching in to try to give you something. But if you're so busy with both hands on the rungs of a ladder trying to pull yourself up, how are you going to accept that? Okay, so um, you got to go a little bit hands free here for a while and just sort of coast, okay, because we have the justice card and it, that just means that everything is going to be okay. You don't have to work yourself to the bone, you know, you really don't because the law of attraction is real. The quantum field is real, okay? And exhausting yourself is also a real um, possibility, okay? And also what I'm getting here too is like, just don't beat yourself up if you're not getting what you want immediately, you know, or if something passes you by and it goes on to a different person because the universe has something bigger and better for you, okay? So we do have the Ace of Cups. So instead of getting frustrated, what this Ace of Cups is saying, and you can see how the figure has just, you know, arms up to the heavens and like really just in reverence, okay? And you don't have to do this on a daily basis or whatever. It's probably better if you do, but your gratitude, okay? If you are going to busy yourself with something and, and maybe do a seven-day challenge where you're not asking for anything, you know, instead start thanking for everything that you have. I'm starting to get a little bit dizzy just from what my guides are saying. Um, they feel like sometimes, you know, if you have a two-year-old or you've ever been around one, you've ever been babysitting and it's just this nonstop like asking of questions and, and you know, I mean, you want to think that our spiritual guides they have this unending patience and stuff like that but it can be exhausting for them too you know when you're always asking or always needing help so maybe give them a break too and consider they actually have feelings <laughs> and try not to be a two-year-old 
<laughs> maybe just go a week with with saying thank you instead of asking for things okay so i think that's the message that they wanted everybody to hear myself included because you know anyway i'm gonna go see you guys bye